uh, Eric Erickson. Eric Erickson is a conservative. He is a, a Fox News contributor, analyst or something. And we've been talking about that Texas abortion legislation. Shortly after it passed, Fox News contributor Eric Erickson tweeted that liberals should bookmark a website that sells coat hangers. Of course, of course, coat hangers kind of reminiscent of Im 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 imagery rather of uh, backroom type abortions, back alley abortions. And he's saying that this really wasn't offensive. He's saying, hold on a second. You actually had Democrats trying to stall the legislation by coming out with their own coat hanger. So I'm just telling them where they can get those coat hangers. Um, he said, dear liberals, go bookmark this site now. And it was a link to supply warehouses page for hangers and garment bags. I think that this is incredibly offensive, Lewis. And his response was kind of even more offensive. He tweeted people offended by my mocking their coat hanger hyperbole are cool with decapitating a child in utero. Hashtag perspective. What do you think of this guy? Uh, not not someone I would want on any media outlet, on any station, anywhere, ever talking to anyone about anything, really, I think is the point here. Uh, to, to take the conversation in this direction is, uh, I, I can't even think of the words uh, to, to use for it, but no, no one should be hosting this person at all. I want to focus on one really specific aspect of what he's kind of saying and implying. There's this idea that it's the liberals who would be getting the coat hangers and using them for the back alley abortions. The reality, though, Lewis, is that the places where abortions are hardest to get. Exactly in, in this particular case, we're talking about Texas already, but particularly red states. Those are the places where people are more likely to obtain unsafe abortions, home abortions, back alley abortions. We know that restricting abortion does not really reduce the number of abortions. It just makes them much less safe. And it also increases health care costs because some people are injured or otherwise become sick through pursuing these un unsafe abortions. And then they end up in the emergency room anyway. So Eric Erickson here is completely distorting the fact and actually not even considering that it's conservative women in red states who will be significantly affected by these so-called coat hanger abortions. I don't think he really cares about the reality, though. No, of course not. In, in his fantasy world, uh, there are no young girls in uh, in homes in red states that have little Jesus statues in them who are going to get abortions because they're conservative and they're God fearing people. And that just doesn't happen. Right. It's only the liberals who, who get abortions. Right. Yeah, In the same way that right wingers, they never they never have affairs. They never cheat. They never eat shrimp and stuff like that. I mean, not, nobody who's conservative ever violates anything that uh, Jesus or Rick Perry OBGYN says that you shouldn't be doing so that that we know that'll work out really well. Oh, yeah, uh, I mean, what like I, I can't think of a better example. Uh, Rick Perry. Rick Perry is really a guy who pioneers in this in this fantasy world mentality. Yeah, he certainly does. All right, let's take a break. Join us on Facebook, facebook.com slash David Pakman show. A lot of behind the scenes stuff on our Facebook page heading towards the 25,000 like mark. We'll take a break and we'll be back with plenty more right after this. Glad you're with us today.